Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome to, or welcome back, excuse me, to uh, Roommates. Let's go ahead and load this save. I'm fairly certain this is the save we want since it is the latest. Um, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to be recording this today simply because I am, um, or I recently changed the, um, or corrected the speed for my RAM, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be stable. I haven't actually gotten around to testing that today, but if it crashes on me while I'm rendering out this video, that'll tell me that it's not stable. And DX Tori seems to be acting up right now for whatever reason. It's like flickering up here in the top right corner, so one second. Okay, so uh, I think we're just going to have to sort of live with DX Tori acting up right now, because from what I can tell at least, well, at least I don't see any way of fixing it. Um, and I'm not sure why it's happening, but it's happening nonetheless. So, like I said, I think we're just going to have to live with it. And you guys are going to be able to see the so-called FPS that I'm getting in this game, which is really nothing. Because especially once I actually get to the dialogue, we'll be looking at, like, single-digit FPS. But, you know what, that's fine. This isn't a game that needs it. Um, and honestly, I don't really think that's what my FPS actually is. It's just that's what reported as because of the kind of game this is um, but either way let me start my timer for 20 minutes and we can go ahead and start the week in just a moment after I correct some of these cables over here there we go okay and start the week okay and Rik Rikesh wishes to speak with us come on Max I want you to see this I'm coming, I'm coming. I chuckle as we walk through the trees. Rakesh just looks so excited. I guess it's rubbing off. Rakesh had come to get me almost the second I'd left class. It was about time for lunch, though, so I had an hour or so. He led me to the park without saying much else, just that he was happy I was free for a bit. Finally, we hit a clear, or a clearing, and I watched him spread his arms very theatrically. On the ground is a rather elaborate and incredibly put-together picnic lunch. Holy cow, you set all this up? Well, I may have purchased a few of the things in the basket, but otherwise... Crap, I wish you told me, Rakesh. I already made plans for lunch to study with Roxanne. Rakesh's face falls terribly. I feel really bad, but this was just a surprise. I understand, Max. I'm so sorry. Really. It's okay. Go on. I do not wish to interrupt your plans. I just wanted your opinion on the setup anyway. Oh, in that case, bro, it's great. You're sure to impress. I wave you goodbyes and make my way back to the campus. Rakesh seems pleased at my praise. Uh, I think... So that event, I think if we had a higher relation with Rakesh, we would have actually been able to do more. But because we don't have really any relation with Rakesh, um, and I can't pull it up because we're in this right now, um, but I think we have actually zero points of relation with Rakesh. Either way, it's too low to be able to really do anything. What? You better not have said what I think you just said. I was trying to get an early night, but Isabella's screaming snapped me awake. Last I remember, she was supposed to be hanging out with Chad tonight. I guess their date went pretty well. Maybe we all got lucky and Chad finally did something stupid enough to get kicked to the curb. A quick look at my clock shows it's pretty late. I wonder if I should see what's going on. Isabella's calmed down a little bit, so I can't really make out what they're saying from here. Okay, well, you know, we really don't care much for Isabella, so we're not going to go ahead and guarantee play the event. I'll just roll my dice. So we got a 6, a 2, and a 4. So we're going to skip the event. Then again, it would feel a lot like snooping on her personal business. I should probably leave them alone to work out their issues. Um, if I recall correctly, that is the event in which you learn um, that Isabella swings both ways. But that she, I don't think it's necessarily that she is bisexual in the sort of traditional sense. Um, but yeah, 
I, far, I think that's the event where you essentially learn more about Isabella. I put my head back down and tried to cover my ears with a pillow. A few minutes later, I could hear a thumping noise as somebody large went down the stairs and out the door. After that, things were quiet again, and I could get back to sleep. The next morning, I ran into Isabella at the dining room table, slowly eating breakfast. She looked awful, like she'd been crying all night. Are... are you okay? It's fine, Max. Are things okay with Chad? I'll thank you not to mention the name of that asshole again. I quickly threw up my hands defensively and back away into the kitchen. I guess things didn't go so great last night after all. I may have wanted Chad out, but I didn't want Isabella hurt so bad by it. So, okay. So that's what happens if you essentially ignore that. Let's see, everyone's covered in green today. Heck, everything is, except me, but that's okay. Don't get me wrong, I love St. Patty's Day. If you're going to make up a holiday, a holiday for getting drunk is about as good as it gets. But, you know the old rules. If we're not willing, or if we're not, eh. If you're not wearing green, you get a pinch, and nothing invites ladies to get a little touchy-feely like an excuse to give a cute stud a pinch. I've already gotten a few cute co-eds eager to pinch the non-believer. At any rate, I'm sure the folks at Latin House are planning some kind of big blow-up bash, regardless of Dominic's desires, of course. I've been in my room the, pa or the last few hours wondering if I wanted to... Wondering if I want to try to sneak out before it gets started. Um, hmm. This, I have no idea. Uh, roll the dice. I guess. Six. Four. Five. Um, hmm. But you know what? I don't think I've ever actually played this event, so I'm just going to actually play it anyway. I could probably find a party way hotter than what Dushnik would let us throw, but... Hmm, nah, it's always better getting drunk with friends. I'm sure we can drink Dominic under a table, and then we can have some real fun. I spend the next hour or so going through my special hidden stash. Hopefully, we've got some green food coloring or something. If I'm not heading out to the wild parties, I may as well make the party here as wild as possible. When I hear the knock on my door, I'm ready for whatever the night holds. Hey, Max, Isabella says she's got a whole slew of games for us tonight, so you should get your ass in gear before I drink all the good booze. Given how mopey Isabella's been since the breakup, since she broke up with Chad, I'm surprised she's this invested in St. Patrick's Day. Maybe she's just using the party as an excuse to get over her ex-boyfriend. I follow Rakesh down the stairs where I see that the crew has been busy. There are cards laid out, green beer, and some kind of green punch in a green, or in a giant bowl. So, what's the proof on that punch, Isabella? It'll put hair on your chest, then knock those hairs out and grow all new, stronger super hairs. Sounds like my kind of drink. I reach up a hand and high-five Isabella while going to get a glass of punch. Just for good measure, I slip a bit of the concoction I was working on earlier in my room in there. I can see Anne eyeing me from across the room. I give her a wink and she just shakes her head. One sip later and I swear my vision went blurry for a second. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Where's Dominic? I'm surprised he lets you get away with this. Isabella just grins and points at, over to the study nook. Sitting there, tied at the wrists and ankles, wearing a blindfold and gag, is Dominic. Hanging around his neck is a sign that simply says, Kiss me, I'm Irish. I can almost see his frown deepening as he hears me guaffing. I guess guaffing at his predicament. No, no, this is perfect. See, this way he has plausible deniability if anyone finds out about the party. Not his fault he was tied up. By desperados. Everyone laughs at that. Well, everyone except Dominic. Well, it's kind of hard to laugh when you have a gag in your mouth, I'd imagine. 
Enough of this small talk. Tonight we test the luck of the Irish. Wait, which one of us is Irish? Quiet, you. First, pin the shamrock on the leprechaun. The alcohol starts flowing early and freely. And I take all I can get. I don't know how we did it, but somehow between Isabella's punch and my own concoction, we've made some of the tastiest liquor I've ever had. Luckily, Isabella's games begin to take progressively less skill and progressively more drinking. We play a bunch of different silly party games with drunken penalties. Isabella even got her hands on a snake-shaped pinata. When we finally managed to drunkenly beat it open, it was full of jello shots and little plastic cups. Turns out, Rakesh had actually, had actually made it special. Finally, after a while, we're all sitting on the floor around the study nook. Dominic continued struggling to get out of his binding as we started playing a simple game of truth or dare. Okay, I choose Sally. Okay, dare. Ha ha! You should let out the loudest belt you can. What? That's gross, Rakesh. Too bad you have chosen to be daring. Sally takes a drink of the punch, weaving in a in place a little before taking a deep breath and letting out the smallest burp any of us have heard. Everyone laughs as Sally turns bright red. I can't just burp on command. Shut up. Whatever, it's my turn now, so shut up. Sally turns toward me with a wicked look in her eyes. Okay, Max, truth or dare? Um, oh, okay, hmm. You know, I'm not quite sure. Actually, I'm curious. One second, I'm going to make a save. I think we're going to see a little bit of both, but first we're going to roll the dice to figure out which one we'll actually stick with. Um, oh, well, that wasn't a good roll. Let's see, we got a one, another one, and a four. Um, let's see, so there's three choices here. I'd break it down into two, so one and two would be truth, three and four would be dare, and five and six would be I don't want either. The last roll was a four, so we'll be going with dare at the end. But I'm curious what truth says. Um... Oh, 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 really? Really, Sally? Um, okay, that's an interesting dare. <laughs> um, okay, but let's go and check. I don't want either. Oh, okay, so it doesn't really matter if you select dare or I don't want either. You end up being stuck with dare either way. Okay, we're going to be going with dare, though, because that's what our role dictated. So, okay, I dare you to show us your ass. Are you kidding me? Oh, hell yeah, it's a full moon tonight. Anne covers her eyes as I sigh and turn around. I notice she's peeking through her fingers, though. I lower my pants to the cat calls and cheaters of my roommates, or the cat calls and cheaters of my roommates. Maybe I milk it a little bit, but I've always been the type to put on a show. Finally, I lift my pants back up to the boos and jeers. Happy? All right, nice one, Max. Your turn now. Finally, okay, I choose Isabella. We continued around the circle like that for another few hours. In the morning, I wake up in my own bed feeling like death is trying out a new drum solo behind my sinus or ah, sinuses. I can only vaguely remember making my way back upstairs, but everything feels fuzzy. I head downstairs towards the kitchen for a bit of water, only to find everyone else standing at the bottom of the stairs. I go down to them and look in the same direction, and my jaw hits the floor. Don't tell me. We never... Mm hmm. Sitting in a chair in the study, silently fuming, Dominic waits to be untied. Not it. Luckily, 
When it was all over, Rakesh lost the rock, paper, scissors contest. The rest of us were well on our way to Isabella's cafe for some morning coffee before Dominic finally got set free. Oh, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. They're like, ah, we're just going to leave him be. Yes, that's why I need your help, Max. I cannot paint all these flowers by myself in one night. I already told you, I have plans for tonight though, right? I'd have to skip out on Roxanne. You probably shouldn't be painting those flowers at all, you know. They're in a park, Rakesh. Isn't that illegal? I am nearly positive that it would be viewed as a public service. Unfortunately, I really do have to meet with Roxanne tonight. We have to put the last touches on our final essay soon. Rakesh sighs and puts on a small domino mask. Well, I suppose it can't be helped then. That boy is going to get in some serious trouble. Still, I don't know if it's worth missing tonight's session with Roxanne. Okay, I'm assuming we play, we get to paint the flowers with Rakesh. And if we skip, we go with Roxanne. With, eh, I don't think Roxanne's necessarily the funnest person to be with. Three, five, and two. So we're going to play the event. Godspeed, you ridiculous man. Uh, I have to... Oh, okay. No, I guess not. I guess skipping, you go with Rakesh, and playing, you go with Roxanne. Okay. I have to put Rakesh out of my head for now. Roxanne is coming over. I've actually been trying to put together my half of the opinions for our essay. It has not been going well. Hopefully, Roxanne has been doing a better job of things. I almost feel bad about it. I set out a few last-minute replacements as I wait for Roxanne to show up. She's not due for another few minutes, so I set out my notes and try to see if my position is sound. Oh, finishing up your notes for the project with Roxanne. Oh, hey, Anne. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the semester, and I think I've got a solid thing going here. I just need to compare with Roxanne to see if it came out the way I wanted. I won't lie, I don't really get half this stuff. Not that I really need to, but, well, whatever. Anne smiles a bit, but it seems a little sad, almost distant. What's up? Something on your mind? I guess it's nothing. I just, um, well... It's cool, Anne. Just spit it out. Why did you choose her over me? Really? Wait, seriously? I thought I told you at the time. I didn't want to wreck your grades. I know that stuff's important to you. Is that really it? I mean, this sort of thing is going to be hard. Did you think she'd be better at it than me? Or maybe you thought it would be easier to take the easy way out if it was someone you didn't know as well? So why did you choose Roxanne? I can't believe this has been tearing her up like this for all this time. Um, okay, let's let's see, Anne. Let's see. Which choice do you prefer? Five three six. Okay, well, I obviously we wanted to impress Anne. I shrug and scratch the back of my head for a moment. Honestly, I was hoping to impress you. I mean, when we heard about an extra credit assignment and we went up there, I knew you were thinking I wouldn't be able to hack it. I wanted to show you that I totally could, but, well, if I blew it, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to affect you. Anne smiles at me, shaking her head. Oh, Max, that's sweet, really. But we still could have worked together. It would have been fine. If you ask me, Max simply made the most logical choice for clear success. I wheel my head around to see Sally standing next to Roxanne with a sheepish look on her face. I ran to her outside, on my way in. She said she had business, so... Yes, we do have business, which we should be getting to. I shrug at Anne and go over to welcome Roxanne. When I look back over, I see Anne and Sally heading upstairs with Vegemite. Wait, they're heading upstairs? Aren't we in your room? I thought pets weren't allowed at the dorms. Oh, we're just house-sitting for a day or two. Everyone's excited. 
She doesn't quite ignore me, but she's definitely more interested in Anne, who's basically just glaring at Roxanne. Though, for Roxanne's part, there doesn't seem to be any malice, mostly just smugness. I'm not sure if she heard what we were saying. Her expression is as, is as sour as ever. Finally, with all the distracting people out of the way, it's time for Roxanne and I to get down to business. Okay. Uh, how much longer do I actually have? Because my timer hasn't gone off yet. About a minute. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, this week went shorter than I had initially expected it to. To be honest. Uh, but whatever. That's fine. It'll render out quicker. Well, slightly. It's still a about 20 minute long video. It's still going to take it probably like an hour to render out knowing my luck. <laughs> but hey, who knows. Maybe... Actually, having my RAM running at its proper speed will speed it up a little bit. Probably not, but we'll see. Either way, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, goodbye and farewell.